Choosing the right type of font is not easy and most of us end up gathering endless fonts we never use. Luckily Illustrator has a brilliant way of organizing and filtering fonts and it is also connected to Adobe Typekit where you can find and download new amazing fonts for your projects. This tutorial is part of a comprehensive online course called Adobe Illustrator Masterclass. You can check it out and try the free trial if you want to learn everything there is to know about this amazing industry standard application. First of all, I'm going to use the selection tool and select this text object and then go up to the drop down here and explore a bit what we can do here. So first of all, what you find is that we have a list of all the fonts. Now, if you have a lot of fonts installed, sometimes it might be a little bit tricky to find what you are looking for. In that case, if you have a few fonts that you really like to work with, it might be worth marking them as favorites. So let's say I like this font and I like to work with it. So I marked it by clicking on the little star sign. Whatever gets a black star is going to be a favorite. So if I go up, there is also another font I really like, and that is called Babas. Now, if I find it again, I can just click on the little star next to it. If there is a font I'm looking for and I don't want to scroll up and down, I can even just simply type in the name of the font, even just simply start typing it. So if I'm looking for Futura, I can just type F U T and immediately I get all the different versions of Futura that I have installed on my computer. So that can be very useful as well. And I can select maybe Futura Medium. But once again, if I want this to be accessible in the future, it might be worth saving it by turning it into a favorite. So once you have a few favorites saved, you can go up to this filtering option to only show the favorite fonts. That way we can very easily access whichever font we normally want to work with. Or you can even use this on a project basis. So if a project needs certain selection of fonts, then you can just use the favorite feature temporarily to mark the ones that you prefer for that project. And of course, once you want to access all the other fonts as well that you have on your computer, just simply clear the filter and then you will see all the rest. That doesn't remove the favorites, of course, you, so you still have them there marked, but simply removing the star will remove them from the favorite status. Another quick way of looking for fonts would be using this filtering dropdown which can help you to find fonts based on their classification. So one big classification would be serif and sans serif. Serif will be all those fonts that have these little legs on fonts. So for example, the F would have those legs that it is standing on. So these are all the serifs. And then we have sans serif, which is a French word meaning without serifs. So these are also referred to as modern type. So this is a great way to quickly find this type of font if that's what you're looking for. But you can also find slab serif, which is another category. Then you have script, which is usually looking like a hand lettered or handwritten text. But there's even another category called handwritten. And then you have black letter, these more traditional medieval looking font and even decorative, which would be another more stylized range of fonts. Once again, if you want to go back to all classes, just simply choose that from that drop down. Another really cool feature is called similar fonts. So if I select a font like this one here and I want to look for similar looking fonts to this, I could go again into the drop down and click on this other filtering option which will show me the similar looking fonts and Illustrator is actually doing a great job at finding similar fonts. So this is not about classification or names of fonts. It's actually looking at how the font looks like. So based on its visual appearance, it's going to give me similar looking fonts. I love this feature. This is absolutely amazing. It's unfortunately only something you find in Creative Cloud version. 
And to be honest, most of these useful features I'm talking about in this video will only be in Creative Cloud, like the favorites and the other filtering options I just mentioned before. And last but not least, what you can also do is to add new fonts from this Creative Cloud based service called Typekit. So that's the one that you find here. It's a separate little button you can click on and it immediately takes me to uh, my browser. It opens up and because I'm logged in, my Creative Cloud license is active. I can find new fonts and let's say I like this font here. All I have to do is to select it and see what this font is good for. So I can type in something, let's say Illustrator. I can immediately see how it's going to look like and what other options it has. So it has different variations as well. They all look really cool. So if I like one of these or even all of them, I can just simply sync them. So let's say the first one I'm going to sync and maybe also I'm going to sync this one at the bottom, which looks quite similar. And let's just add one more. So I synced these three fonts and I can already see them showing up here. So I get the message that they were added. So now if I switch back to Illustrator, I should be able to find these. The easiest way to find fonts that were added from Typekit is again by using a filtering option and that's to show only the Typekit fonts. So once I click on that, I will be able to find all of them. And then you can see I have other fonts as well that I've synced from before. But the one that we just added now is this one, the ACR BAT. So that looks really cool. And I can go through the options that we have for this. So we have these three different variations that we all synced. And I will be able to work with this font as long as I have an active Creative Cloud subscription. But the good thing is that you get the license from Adobe to work with these fonts. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So this is a beautiful, very streamlined way of finding fonts and adding them to your projects. And of course, if we come back to the Typekit browser option and go back to fonts, let's say, we can again find all the options here like classification and even recommendations, whether the font will be better for headings or paragraphs, or you can find properties on them, even language support. So Typekit is really a professional way of first of all, looking for new fonts. And again, it makes it very simple to start using them in Illustrator. And of course, once you add Typekit fonts, it will also show up in InDesign and Photoshop and in the other Adobe products as well. So now that we talked a little bit more about fonts, it's time to look at another type tool called TouchType, which can create interesting effects on text. So that's what we will look at in the next video.